start my uh, speech. I really we have got uh, one of our colleagues, the Vice Chancellor of uh, Shakuntala, the University Professor Arnadish Kose. I want to uh, request my distinguished staff to welcome him also on this occasion. It's in the audience, please. <laughs> so, it's a university of uh, uh, differently abled, and he is a person. Uh, science graduate and came from Allahabad University and is trying to reshape that university uh, in a different way. And uh, our university and this university have got an MOU. The chief guest of the, chief guest of the occasion, Professor Madhind Agarwalji, who is uh, one of our mentor and visionary person, solved an open problem uh, in the computing and well known for Padamshi Award, Fellow of Academic Sciences, and uh, uh, got a very good prize in the mathematics, uh, which equates or which is equivalent to the Nobel Prize because there is no Nobel Prize in the mathematics. Uh, so he is today on the dais and has given his speech. Professor Essen Singh was also an accomplished researcher, a friend who is uh, having a university, uh, which is a contemporary university, a residential university. And then you Gorakhpur, I want to welcome him and mm -hmm. Ashish, who is a batchmate of mine now heading the IEEE section at Allahabad. Uh, other colleagues uh, from the AKTU, and I really want to welcome all the speakers, keynote speakers who have come and uh, traveled across to this magnificent country and uh, other delegates, the lecturers, and our young friends who are, who are there at the story. I really want to emphasize the country in which uh, we are hosting a kind of a, this workshop. I think the uh, previous speaker has told something about Hindi, Sanskrit, and all those things. But before we start, the first speech of the first uh, shloka, which was told by uh, our one of the person who has started this workshop, uh, which is, uh, I will repeat uh, uh, that stroke for uh, another for, uh, stroke for you, which is Om Poon Madha Poon Vidam Poona Poonam Mudhichate Poona Shri Poona Mai Poona Meva Vashasthe. In fact, this country has got a leading traditions of science technology and those science technology are actually uh, maintained with the kind of the religion. And this shloka is one of the great examples which I think uh, centuries before have told that infinity plus infinity can be infinity and infinity minus infinity can be also infinity. So those kind of things and those kind of achievements has been done and uh, uh, so I welcome you to this country uh, which has established, uh, discovered zero, discovered uh, these kind of languages which are easily passed and uh, which are uh, today all the natural language processing uh, have also proved that Sanskrit is one of the languages which can be most scientifically passed and try to get and understand. Before that I want, uh, I really want to welcome to all of you this, this biggest technical university and the Vice Chancellor of my function this university has got 756 affiliating colleges. Uh, most of the people in the world and the globe cannot imagine that one university can control uh, the 756 college. And as Uttar Pradesh uh, also is a very big state, uh, which can be easily told that 11 to 12 European countries can come into one state. Uh, this kind of big state we have. Uh, we have really 3 lakh students uh, with us who are pursuing their B Tech uh, uh, degrees, B Pharma, MCA, MB, all the professional degrees. And we are here in this university trying to give an access, uh, trying to give uh, to all the students a research ecosystem. I really want to uh, have a great applaud for our uh, person who has conceived this workshop. Professor M.P. Dutta from all of you. Uh, he and his team uh, deserve a better applause for myself. Uh, this is, I think, one of the biggest research events in the term of the conference which AKTU is hosting. 
it, it is well known for all other kind of works. Uh, it is, uh, we are also launching an e-consortium where we are uh, giving all the research journals access to all the freelance students. Uh, we are also trying to do a lot of innovations and a lot of other things. Uh, but this is the first tone of uh, conference uh, which is there for all of you, for all of the students. And uh, it was a great, amazing thing for the Vice Chancellor that when we open, uh, we have a great discussion that if we open the registration, the number of students or the participants will be very less because how to reach and how to access. Uh, but it was to our utter surprise that more than 4,000 people, more than 4,000 students uh, uh, really uh, got, uh, uh, really uh, have taken interest and came to this workshop. One very important thing which I really want to say at this juncture, and I think Manindra sir has already told, when we were doing the first course at IIT Kharagpur on artificial intelligence, reading all those A star and all the algorithms, uh, we never thought uh, that artificial intelligence uh, will pick up like this after, I think, 20 years before, 20 years after, in this kind of a way. Uh, there were very few MTech and BTech students who wanted at that time to do and pursue research or do some projects in the field of artificial intelligence. Only we used to take that course and that the Nelson book we used to read and uh, that's all. And we thought that uh, this uh, kind of science or this kind of engineering, uh, whether it will pick up or not pick up or I remember uh, uh, my professor was telling what is AI, so he was telling that it's something which is appropriate and all its uh, heuristics and all other kind of things he was telling. Uh, so uh, that's the first kind of imagination we have. But as we are moving towards the fourth industrial revolution, <laughs> and people say that uh, the first industrial revolution occurred when steam engine was discovered, second when we discovered the electricity, third when we discovered the radio waves to the internet, and the fourth uh, when the man and machine is going to be what? And the last 10 years, uh, the kind of disruption we have seen uh, uh, just uh, uh, we are at the urge that when the IC engines will disappear and uh, this will happen in our lifetime. Uh, the car which it was having at 18,000 moving parts is going to have 18 <coughs> moving parts or 18 parts we will have new cars uh, sitting computers on those kind of things. Uh, we will have a new health technology uh, which will be more uh, with a non-invasive and having all the details and data from the clouds, all the having non-invasive devices uh, on our wrist or on our lockets. Uh, we are moving to the education, uh, which is no more an education in a brick and mortar structure, uh, moving towards the uh, most of the MOOCs courses, uh, most of the things happening in a virtual space, uh, music and other technologies, uh, moving to the YouTube and all other kind of things. The kind of disruption which has happened in the last 10 years, it's a, I was reading an IBM's report uh, which is saying that uh, uh, it's a very difficult part and difficult thing uh, for the scientists and the engineers also to predict uh, which technology to teach because in 2030 that report says we don't know which technology will exist. And that's the real point uh, which is people are saying that in 2030 what will be the new technology, what for our students should be prepared and what we should teach in those kind of technology. So that, that's at heart. I don't know uh, whether Manindra sir is working on such kind of algorithm uh, which may predict uh, what kind of technology we should teach in 2030. But it's a really difficult kind of thing. But one important thing uh, which we really want to say that uh, out of the two technologies uh, on the artificial things and all other things, this university is working very hard. Uh, we are trying to have two courses uh, one on the artificial intelligence and uh, other on the emerging technology. Teaching 100 students and teaching 4 lakh students simultaneously is uh, uh, totally in a different kind of a domain. Uh, but this university is trying uh, to have the researches, uh, to have uh, uh, the kind of the courses in the new area and the new dimension. I hope that uh, uh, when most of the engineering problem in a classical domain are solved, uh, basically, uh, we are, have solved most of the civil engineering problems, mechanical engineering problems. Uh, we have solved electrical engineering problems. Most of the uh, engineering problems are solved. So, the engineering 
uh, disciplines are merging and uh, we are moving towards solving uh, most of the uh, problems uh, which have a confluence or the convergence of the engineering and biology, engineering and biological systems. So there will be new kind of uh, engineering, maybe protein engineering, uh, maybe new kind of biomedical engineering, and new new bioscience kind of engineering. I think uh, the today's workshop and today's uh, conference is around all these kind of new technologies. Uh, the team, uh, there is a very handful team uh, which has proposed, uh, Professor Dutta, Ashish Ji, Asan Singh Saab, all have worked hard and put this conference into these kind of uh, tracks. And I hope uh, that this is the first conference where we have to have got 68 papers. And uh, this is one of the biggest conferences which AKT has hosted. I welcome you all once again and see that what will be the generation next technology. And it's a good uh, conference in the sense that all of the keynote speakers, with them all of the new researchers and our students and the researchers will have a brainstorming, uh, will have their views. And from this, uh, we can uh, take forward a new dimension and new light of hope uh, to the new kind of uh, humanity and new kind of uh, technology uh, which will have with the world we have in the next generation. I really want to uh, thanks all of you, uh, especially the keynote speakers who have come uh, with the jet lag and then uh, also for having uh, come into this kind of wonderful city. Uh, the Defense Expo is, is also there in the city. If anybody of you are interested in uh, seeing the Defense Expo, we will also have the tickets and passes for the Defense Expo. You can let Professor Dutta. Uh, this is one of the biggest uh, defense show which is happening uh, concurrently with this kind of a conference. We are really uh, also want to say that uh, most of you are eminent speakers and eminent professors and researchers from the different part of the uh, globe. And we have got our colleges also from uh, the UK state, so they can have one to one uh, memorandum of understanding, I should not say, uh, but uh, the intent. If any of the people wants or any of the students want, uh, they can meet these professors and uh, utilize this kind of uh, uh, opportunity uh, to meet them. And uh, especially from ourselves, I will request my uh, co vice chancellor, uh, the director CAS, and the uh, dean research also to look forward for any kind of uh, uh, collaboration uh, with the kind of the professors we have. I wish all of you a wonderful stay uh, in this country, uh, which is, I think, a country of an, from an ancient time, an ancient civilization, and which has also uh, gone into the times of science, technology, and religion far apart. So we welcome you again. Uh, wish you a great uh, uh, day and wish you a great time here in the three days of the conference, and wish all of others and wish this conference great success. Thank you very much.